All right, guys, it's time to go over the new hero talent. We got a sneak peek, or not even a sneak peek. We got the, the whole peek uh, on Wowhead now. So we got Wild Stalker last or like two weeks ago, which was, it's cool. Okay, you know, it's pretty nice, but I didn't love it. I've heard really good things about Druid of the Claw, though, and I, I always thought, like, the, the, the hero talents between Feral and Guardian are inherently more interesting than the ones between our Druid and Feral, for me. So, we're starting off with a massive attack. By the way, one thing, so, like, you, you get all these talents, right? Like, from, from 70 to, um, no, from 60 to 70, no, what, wait, are, are we level 60? We're 70 now. Uh... <laughs> From 70 to 80, you get all the all these talents. You end up having all of them. There we go. Massive attack. Your auto attacks have a chance to make your next ferocious bite, Feral, Maul Guardian, become a massive attack. I mean, I like the sound of that. Bigger bites. Hold up. Massive attack. Massive attack, Feral. Finish move that slashes through your target in a wide arc. By AoE. Okay. I mean, that's pretty cool. I kind of like that. Uh, it's, I guess it's similar to how... Uh, to how Rapid Ferocity functions. Kind of thing. I like the sound of it, though. A massive attack. Sounds cool. I like that. Okay. Fount of Strength. Your maximum uh, energy and rage are increased by 20. I like that. Uh, Frenzy Regen also increases your maximum health by 10%. Okay. That's nice. I mean, you know, Frenzy Region heal based on max HP. And uh, they, they did unnerf it or buff it recently. And Wild Shape Mastery. Okay, this one I saw on Discord. Iron Fur and Frenzy Region persist in cat form. Now, that's pretty interesting, man. I like that a lot. Like, you're in bear form. You can Iron Fur and it's going to stay on you in cat form, which is going to help a lot. And also, it's going to, like, make that... Transition from like bear from the cat form better because if like we, we, we want to be more tanky in cat form as well This is a huge thing, you know uh, I was expecting new talents. Do you mean like like buttons to press because hero talents largely it's not adding buttons I think some of them have like one Button you get but it's, it's more passive things to kind of modify how uh, your spec works when transforming from bear to cat form, you retain 80% of your bear form armor and health for 6 seconds. That's awesome, man. Oh, this is actually so good. Like, I really like the sound of this. Like, Pharaoh, like, one of Pharaoh's biggest issues, like, you're just kind of, in cat form, just paper. Like, making that transition between bear form, cat form. And, like, this also makes you want to go more into bear form to regen. And then you go back in form, then suddenly you have iron fur. You have more armor, more HP, like... This is a big thing. Also, like, let's say you're, you're kind of stuck in bear form, like, and they have a stun, and if you get a sit bear form, you can kind of leave cat form, and it's fine if they stun you, like, instantly then as well. But yeah, dude, Wild Shape Mastery looking really, really, really solid, guys. Like, this this whole talent basically smooths out the transition between cat form and bear form, and it's going to make that feel way better going both ways, man. This talent alone, I love. I freaking love it, man. Okay, here we go. Empowered shapeshifting. Okay, so someone told me about this. I've not seen it, though. Frenzied region can be cast in cat form for 40 energy. Okay, so we can frenzied region in cat form. The thing about... Like, this is nice. Don't get me wrong. The thing about frenzied region, though, is... It heals based on your max HP. I still love this. I do love this. Like, this is sick. And there are definitely times where you want to do it in cat form. Because, like... Going bear form, right? Bear form, one global. Regen, one global. Like, you're spending a lot of time losing momentum a lot. So, being able to, like, press in cat form is going to feel so damn good, man. Dude, this is already looking so much better than freaking Wildstalker. Like, I'm never playing Wildstalker, by the way. This is it. Isn't this... Because I, I remember in SOD, there was, like, a leaked room from, like, Phase 3 or something that gives Drew the ability to friends in region in cat form. And I said, we need this in retail. It's coming to retail. Oh my god, guys. The war within, dude. I can't wait. I cannot wait, man. Holy smokes. Okay, bear form reduces magic damage take by 4%. Cool. Cool, we like that. That's nice, actually. Because, uh, yeah, bear form, you feel kind of used to sitting there against casters. A little bit more damage reduction from, from magic. 
We like that. And then shred, swipe, and mangle damage increased by 5%. Guys, dude, I'm so happy because, like, when I saw Lost Soccer, you might have seen my reaction to it. I thought it looked okay. There was, like, some cool talents. Like, just the... Like, I'd rather have these two than have all of the Wild Stalker um, talents combined. Like, just these two talents. It's already so much more interesting. And, like, actually changing the way you play a bit and smoothing out the play style, especially Wild Shape Mastery. Okay, wild, wild Power Surge. Shred and Swipe grants Earth Sign Potential. Okay, Earth Sign Potential. When you have 8 stacks, the next time you transform to Bear Form, your next Mangler Swipe deals 100% increased damage and generates 15 extra range. Uh, rage. Okay, so that's cool. Dude, what I really like about these talents and this, you're actually like, you want to shapeshift into Bear Form and, and into Cat Form. For more than just sitting bear form and like not dying and being a sitting duck. Like right now, you bear form. You're just kind of sitting there, taking big damage. You're doing no damage. This thing about Feral, like most specs can live kind of passively and heal and still do damage. Feral right now, you just go bear form, you're sitting duck, just get, getting blasted. Um, like these talents in general, they actually like make you want to go bear form. And then region, then go back to the calf form and then you get, you know, these benefits from doing that. Which, uh, man, I actually can't... Like, I'm so happy about this, guys. Like, this side, I I've not seen the rest yet, but this side looks awesome, man. Okay, so down the middle, Dreadful Wound. Massive attack, also inflicts a bleed that causes addition additional damage over 6 seconds and saps as a victim's strength, reducing damage to, de to deal to you by 5%. Dreadful Wound is not affected by Circle of Life and Death. Okay. Your Bites... Will decrease the damage the enemies do to you by five percent, and do it. I, I'm I'm guessing a small bleed. Uh, Feral. If a dreadful wound benefiting from Tiger's Fury is, is reapplied, the new dreadful wound de deals damage as if Tiger's Fury was active. Oh, okay. So it's like snapshotting kind of thing. Okay, cool. So like you can like keep it up. Nice. Ruthless aggression, massive attack increases your auto attack damage. No, massive attack increases your auto attack speed by twenty percent for six seconds. Okay, cool, cool. I quite like that. So basically, after you bite, you kind of they do less damage. You have more attack speed. That extra bleed will work with uh, or should work with uh, taste of blood, which means bigger bites. Yeah, very very true. Guys, wait, this is looking really good. Like. This looks really, really strong, actually. Uh, mass attack increases your agility by 5%, and the armor granted by Iron Fur by 20% for 6 seconds. Okay, so if you have Iron Fur up, or you press Iron Fur after getting that, which keep in mind, you get it in Cat Form as well now, it's uh, increased armor. More agility as well. So basically, 6 seconds after biting, you're, you, you're juiced up. Uh, your first at uh, Tice Free after entering combat makes your next Ferocious Bite become a massive attack. It's auto attacks. Okay, so auto attacks can proc this massive bite. I see. But your first Fury after entering combat makes this guarantee, which, okay. All right, I mean, you actually, you might be leaving and entering combat quite a bit with a meld, ink ourselves, so. Okay, I mean, seems like we, we can, like, get that quite a bit. Um, uh, Cool. So for Guardian, your first mangle after end of combat makes your next maul become a massive attack. Okay. Aggravate wounds. Every finisher move, shred, thrash, or swipe a cast extends the duration of, of your dreadful wounds by 0.4 seconds up to 6 additional seconds. Okay, so we can basically extend the debuff from the massive attack. Kind of same thing for, for, for Guardian here. Uh, Claw Rampage. During Berserk, shred, swipe, and thrash... Have a 25% chance to make your next force of bite become a massive attack. Okay, so in Cirque slash Incarn, the chance of, of the mass attacks is way higher. Uh, pretty cool. All right. Nice. He has now down the right right side. Uh, force of bite damage increased by 5% and Prime Wrath's direct damage increased by 100%. Okay. I don't know how much Prime Wrath direct damage is doing right now. It's not that much, but... Uh, I mean, that talent seems pretty strong overall. A little bit of flat by damage and yeah, just flat damage increase. That's kind of cool. 
Sampedian roar duration is increased by 25%. You know, that's nice. Doesn't do much, but it's nice. Shred swipe and mangle critical uh, strike chance and, and critical strike damage are increased by 8%. Um, and then tear down the mighty. The cooldown of Feral Frenzy is reduced by 5 seconds. So basically getting it down to 40 seconds. Yeah, I mean, that's nice. I mean, guys, the left-hand side of this tree just makes me so happy, man. Like, this is where it's at. The rest is cool. The rest is kind of like, it's there. It doesn't really change much, but it's like nice to have. I'll say the, the left-hand side, I think, is so, so sick.